In my Evernote video this week, I'm going to show you how to publish a notebook. Hello and welcome to another episode of Working with Evernote. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I want to show you how I share a notebook with my language students so they can receive additional learning materials. And it's really a simple thing that you can do. Now normally we talk about sharing notes or we share a notebook. But there is another option you can use and that is publishing a notebook. Now when we publish a notebook, the person receiving the link to the website, because essentially you are publishing a website, do not have to create an Evernote account. And it's a really cool way of doing things. Now I have actually used this function this week, which is why I decided to put this video together to show you exactly what I did so that you can think about ways that you made to share. Because I know many of you are not teachers. Most of you are probably not teachers and don't have materials to share with your students. But many of you are managers and many of you, many of you are entrepreneurs and you probably have some materials that you want to use for onboarding and Evernote can do this brilliantly for you without forcing the other person to create an Evernote account. And one more thing I should point out is for those of you who watched last week's episode where we created a read review watch were notebook, we can actually apply the same principles to that too. Okay, let's go into Evernote now and I will show you how to publish a notebook. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do is to set up the notebook. Remember, you don't want to, you, you can't share your whole Evernote, but what you do need to do is to create the notebook that you want to share with your students or colleagues if you are doing some kind of onboarding or training of that nature. So I've got one here, I've set up the notebook, I've actually added uh, four videos, four videos that um, I want to show to my students about how to express a message, a clear message in simple terms. And I've decided to use politicians. So we've got Barack Obama's 2008 acceptance speech. We've got President Reagan's tear down this wall speech. And we've got Jen F. Kennedy's landing a man on the moon and bring them, returning them safely to earth. And I've added an extra one which came up this week, which was Boris Johnson, the new prime minister of the UK, uh, where he was describing his objectives for his prime ministership. And again, it was all about the clarity of the message. It's not about the politics, whether you agree or disagree with these people. This is really about how they communicated the message. And this is what I wanted to demonstrate to my students. Students. So to keep some kind of political neutrality, I've got two conservatives, that's Ronald Reagan and Boris Johnson, and two Democrats or liberal minded people, John F. Kennedy and Barack Obama. So we've got some kind of political neutrality in case anyone says that I'm biased in any way. This is nothing to do with politics. It's about how uh, politicians can express their message in cl with clear easy to understand language and this is what I wanted to share with my language students. So what I did was I created the notebook, how to deliver your message and we have everything set up right here. So this is the notebook. Now if you click on here, now what I should point out is when you click on publish the notebook and last week if you remember uh, we looked at your read review folder notebook well this week there's a couple of options that you have the one that you want if you click on share notebook that's fine if you know that the people you're sharing the notebook with use Evernote that will work beautifully because they can add the notebook to their Evernote but what happens if the people you want to share the notebook with do not have a Evernote account well what you can do is you can publish which is essentially creating a website address for the notebook. So I'm going to click on publish the notebook and that's going to bring up publish to create a public link to this notebook. So I'm going to click on publish and now I have a website 
with these notes in it, with these links to these videos in it. So I can now copy that and I can go to my Safari. So I go to Safari and that's going to open up here and I'm going to paste it and I'm going to open it up. Now in Safari, I don't, I'm not logged into Evernote. So this is going to be exactly how people who uh, come to your website that you create will see things. So you've got two ways to view this notebook. Explore, uh, which is view the notebook. Um, access, see the notebook in, on all your computers and devices if you have an Evernote account. Or view this notebook now. Click view notebook to continue without signing into Evernote. This is the key. They don't have to sign in to Evernote now to actually view this notebook. So I'm just going to click on view notebook and that's going to take me to the notes. So the as you can see right here, I'm in I'm in Safari, as you can see up here, and I've got the link to the video right there, which is clickable. Uh, I've got uh, the Ronald Reagan speech here, uh, which I can actually click on there. I've got Barack Obama's acceptance speech again, which I can click on there. And I've got Boris Johnson's uh, recent acceptance of the Conservative Party leadership. And I've got that there. So this is how you can share notebooks with your own teaching materials. Now, I've just chosen four videos that I wanted to share with my students about expressing their uh, expressing objectives, which is essentially what they are. They're just very, very good political speeches which demonstrate the point. Now, this is what they see. They don't have to sign into Evernote. They don't have to create an account. They can just go in and actually see this. And I think this is one of those ones where most people, when they're talking about Notes apps and being able to do this, this is one of those features in Evernote that I use quite often with my students. And it is such a great way of doing it. So just to re refresh what you've done here, what you can do here is create the notebook first and add the material that you want to share in the notebook. And then all you need to do is click on the three dots at the side here and publish notebook, not share notebook. Share notebook assumes that the person you're sharing the account, the, the notebook with has an Evernote account. They will have to join Evernote. Publishing, they don't have to join Evernote to view whatever you've got in that notebook. Now I should point out before I finish this video that if you want to create the read review uh, notebook that I mentioned last week's episode, which I'll put a link to in the show notes, you can actually do the same thing because you can create a clickable link and you can save it in your to-do list manager and all you have to do is click. Remember, a read review is generally the articles that you want to read, so it doesn't matter whether you're in Evernote or not. So there's another way you can do that. Okay, hopefully you found that interesting. Hopefully you found it useful. If you uh, want to use this, it is so easy, so simple to set up and I hope you get a lot of value from it. Thanks again for watching this episode. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very... Thank you very much for watching this video. Now, have I got something special to tell you about. The Time and Life Mastery Version 3 course has launched. Now, this course is transformative. It will transform your life. If you find that your life is drifting from one day to the next and you feel that you're not actually achieving your goals, then this course is going to show you how to change that. It's going to show you how to identify what is truly important to you. It's going to show you how to find what it is you want out of life and then show you the steps that you need to take in order to get there. This course is amazing. The feedback I've got from versions one and version two have just been tremendous. It has helped so many people and I want this opportunity to tell you that it can do the same for you. I hope you will take a look at the course, have a go, take the course and start transforming your life today. This course will do that for you. Take a look, get yourself enrolled and hopefully I'll see you in the course.